Hey, I'm Conflicted. Welcome back to Wicked Conflicted Day 2. Uh, today I'm going to be ranking every single song on Section 80, Worst to Best. My final video may have the rankings of these songs in a different order, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Because I'm hoping to make this my biggest video yet at the end of the week. Well, what I'm planning on doing is having like a week off after I post these seven days and then I'll post the biggest video. Many of you are not subscribed, but if all goes well, I'm hoping to consider myself at least decently successful by the end of summer, and I can only do so with your guys' help. So if you do enjoy this video, please feel free to share with one of your friends, or maybe multiple, and subscribe. Without further ado, I'm going to be ranking every single song on Section 80. Starting off with number 15 as the worst song on Section 80, I have No Makeup, in parentheses, her vice. Uh, I don't remember why I don't like this song, but I don't like this song, alright? Let me tell you why. I don't know why. Number 14, I have Chapter 10. I'm pretty sure this is an interlude. It's not bad, it's just an interlude, and I don't normally put interludes on my playlist unless it's like J. Cole's interlude or uh, Dreamville. That one literally called, uh, it was called Wells Fargo, I believe. Very good song, very good song. Number 13, I have Absol's outro. Pretty good song. I, I, I enjoy the song, but it just didn't make the cut for the top 10 or pretty much anything above this. Which is fair enough. I mean, all these are pretty close together. I don't really dislike most of these. Maybe maybe No Makeup in Chapter 10 I might have disliked. But other than that, this is pretty solid as usual. Just because I have a song here does not mean that it's like a bad song. It just means that I like the other songs more, because Kendrick has a pretty solid discography. Uh, number 12, I have Keisha's song. I believe that this has a pretty good storyline to it. I like I like a lot of the Blank's songs, or like just a lot of the themes in this album. Those themes continue on with the chapter Blank's. Uh, for my number 11, I have chapter 6. This is a lot better than chapter 10, in my opinion. That's all I really have to say about it. Number 10, I have Poe Man Dreams, parentheses his voice. Uh, not a, a lot of these, I'm gonna just stop saying the parentheses, but yeah. I, I enjoy this song a lot more. This is cracking into my top 10. And yeah, I like, I like every song for the most part from Europe, like a lot. Number nine, I have Cushion Corinthians. Cushion Corinthians kind of grew on me a little bit. I didn't like it at first, but it got a lot better. And then number eight, I have, uh, I'm not allowed to swear on this channel, but it's the F word, Your Ethnicity. Uh, pretty good song, very good song in my opinion, actually. And yeah, it's pretty good. I believe it's one of the most popular out here. Number seven, I have Blow My High. It's a pretty good song also. I don't have a lot to say about these, they're just pretty good songs, you know? That's why for my um, big discography video, I'm just gonna have like a lot of silence. A lot of silence, just music in the background. Uh, number six, I have Tammy's song. Similar to Keisha's song in the storyline, or the name, I guess. Tammy's song is pretty good, it's a lot better. Number five, I have Hold Up. This song also grew on me, I did not have it this high originally, but it's a very good song. And from here up, we have like 9 out of 10 songs minimum. Like every single one of these songs above here is amazing. And for number 4, you guys might be upset that this is not higher. I have ADHD. But hear me out, I'll, 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 I'll give you guys reasons why I believe that these other ones might be above ADHD. Well, they're just close. It's all really close from here up. ADHD is an iconic Kendrick song. And yeah, it's just a quality song in general. Number three, I have Ronald Reagan era. I might switch this in ADHD. I like this, these two flip flop, cause like, ADHD is more iconic, but I kind of like Ronald Reagan era. Like, despite the fact that like, it's less popular, you know? Cause some people would argue that like, some people are gonna be upset that I'm putting this song above ADHD. A lot of people are, I believe. But I just like this song more. Number two, I have Riga Mortis. Uh, not Riga Tony. I, whenever I see a thing of pasta, for some reason, I get it mixed up with Riga Mortis, which is something completely different. Riga Mortis is when after you die, your body stiffens up and stuff. Uh, great song though. Not 
bad as death. And then number one, I have high power. I feel like my number one spot here, I don't really need justifying. I gave this song a 10 out of 10 on my uh, ranking. And yeah, this song is just incredible, you know? And I think that's the stands for most Kendrick songs. And I hope you guys are all excited for the big discography ranking. And I'm gonna rank every single one of his songs worst to best, including a lot of deleted ones. Like the Heart series, the Heart Part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, The Jig Is Up. Every single one of them, alright? Maybe a couple ones from before. Like before when he was uh, King Kendrick or K Dot. I might not keep some of those. But I went through Genius to make sure you guys all got every single one of the songs on there. But that's all I really had to say. I hope you guys enjoyed my Section 80 ranking. If not, I apologize. It's opinionated though. So, oh well. <laughs> um, I love you all. Thank you for the, the, the support recently. I hope you guys have a great one. And I'm conflicted and I'm out. Peace.